I could not look back. I could not look back at all. I did not want to see if they were chasing us. I did not want to see who it was. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Courtney and welcome. And yes, I have completely changed my hair. I got to that point again in my life where I'm like, I need change. And I go through it like a lot, if you know me, a lot. And the way I do my change is with my hair. So it passed that six months mark and I was like, let's go, it's overdue. Let's do something crazy. And I picked red pink thingy. So yeah, I hope you like it. I love it. I'm obsessed with it, to be honest. I was just like, ah. But this isn't the point of the video. This video is another story time. And this is one, it's not a ghost story, but it ain't a nice story at all. It has to do with what we thought was a stalker. It has to do with situations that should have been in a horror movie. And I still, to this day, is a bit mm, with me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so let me take you back about 10 years. I wasn't married, I didn't meet my husband, I didn't have kids. I just finished school, I quit my college, I quit my job, I paid everything I had to get a very long ticket to go traveling. And with that, one of my friends from England decided to come over and spend some time with me so we could fly back together because I was going to be spending the time in England with her. At this point, I have quite a few friends and there were a group of boys in particular, n no boyfriends, it was nothing to it. They were just friends that we were hanging out with quite a lot. We would go four wheeling, we would go swimming, we went kayaking or boating or whatever. We went to the beach, we went to movies, we went all this stuff while my friend was there from England and we did a lot of things together. So this one night we decide that we're gonna dare them to walk to our house because they lived quite far away when it comes to walking and it was right into our neighborhood and where we decided to meet we could just easily walk. Could have took my car but why take your car at night when you could just walk there and we were doing a lot of walking anyways. That's just what we done when we were younger. So we dared them and we're like, come on, come on, come on. It took them quite a few hours, I think. And we decided to meet at the gas station. It is now dark when we finally get a phone call to say, we're almost there, come on. So me and my friend kind of sneak out. Yeah. My parents were strict at this point. <laughs> and we started walking to the gas station that's in my neighborhood. And as we're walking, we're just having fun, we're laughing. And I get this phone call and I look at my phone and it says unknown caller. So I go, hey, at this point, I know better now, but at this point I didn't, I just answered. I was like, hello? And they're like, we are going to kill you. I was like, who is this? Didn't recognize the voices at all. And they're like, we're coming to get to you. We're going to kill you. So I'm a bit like, uh, no, hang up. It's like right bit freaked out I'm trying to explain to my cousin that basically our lives are in danger and uh, someone's gonna kill us now one side I'm like is this serious or on the other side I'm like this has to be a joke so we carry on whatever and literally seconds later phone call again a no number and so again stupidly I pick up hello and again, they're giving us the whole, I'm gonna kill you, we're following you. I was like, if you're following us, what we're wearing? Just cause I was smart back then. And so I wish I didn't ask that because they told us exactly what we were wearing. I looked around, I looked everywhere. There was no one around us. I was proper freaking out. Hung up the phone again and I called our two friends. I'm like almost in the point of tears now. Cause I'm like, right, this could be serious. And they're like, hold on, hold on, are you okay? Like, what's going on? I try to explain to them. I said, I don't see anyone around us, but hurry up. They're like, all right, we're almost at the gas station. I said, we are too. The gas station is properly lit up. So in your mind, like if you're in a lit up place, you're safe. That's what it is. It's like this magic thing. Oh. Anyways, we're walking a bit faster now, me and my friend. I get another phone call and all it was is you are going to die and I freak out and next thing I know this car is zooming in to the side 
not completely cutting us off but almost so we just run we are freaking liking it i've got flip-flops on it's going my cousin's behind me i should not have left her i could not look back i could not look back at all i did not want to see if they were chasing us i did not want to see who it was i don't want to see if it was someone i knew or if it was just some weirdo with a mask i did not want to know i just wanted to get safe where we knew friends of ours were waiting we keep running and we finally get to the gas station and we see our two friends they are stood there they're like they just got there apparently they're like whoa, whoa, whoa i ran into one of my friend's arms and i was not like looking i did not want to look up i just was crying my eyes out i was like someone's trying to kill us it's a black car uh, as soon as they say you're gonna die that's there the car it's like literally like bam bam it was so in sync it was ridiculous i'm like crying my cousin's really nervous she's like shaking and i say cousin this is because that's what we used to call each other when we were growing up and then the two of them just start laughing their heads off really at first to me i thought they were laughing at me because that's what happens with me is people just make fun of me but no it turns out the phone call was them they were calling us uh using the blockage number and telling us we were gonna die great friends eh great friends they could see us because they got there a bit earlier so they could kind of see us and see what we were wearing they were very sneaky i I've, i'm pretty sure i smacked one of them i'm not a hitter but i'm pretty sure he got a bit of a smack on the arm because yeah that that wasn't nice it made me feel so sick so i'm pissed i'm like right f you f you i'm gone you walk home now this is a waste of time i ain't even driving you home now goodbye and i start walking and then i'm like hold on they don't drive they don't drive at all i was like but how did the car incorporate exactly to the point where you told us we we're gonna die and we stopped and we thought coincidence because at the same point that our friends are joking around telling us that they're gonna kill us a car was basically going to try to kidnap me and my cousin at least that's what I'm figuring because why would they try to come in there I don't know maybe it's just where my head is all like <clears throat> I will never know who was in that car I will never know what would have happened if they would have gotten us in that car all I know is that phone call of us basically basically being told we're gonna die and they're gonna kill us was our friends being playing a really sick joke and it was just very coincidental that a car was almost doing the same thing i think maybe it's like just someone being not even seeing us and they're trying to park i don't know i don't know i don't know but we didn't die i'm still here to tell the story my cousin's still there to tell the story and it's one that kind of goes in the laughing books and also the what the f books so yeah a very short and sweet video for you guys today i hope you enjoyed it so thank you guys so much for watching and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscription button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss any one of my videos and until next time have a good one